Since I've been on a file management kick this week with Windows, I thought I'd do a quick Mac tip on how to get the most out of Mac Finder, which is the file management tool for the Mac operating system. First of all, things that you can do to kind of customize the look and feel of your Finder is to use the toolbar at the top of Finder. And the first thing to remember to do is that you have control of how the data is displayed. If I click on the left hand most button, then I'm in what's called the images view or icon view. I'm in the icon view here, and I can sort by name, this little box here, or I can sort by application, or I can sort by date, etc. If I click the next item, then I am in the details view. And again, I can use the sort to, to sort it by different programs or just click by the name. If I have the automatic sorter clicked to none, then when I'm in this details view, I can very quickly sort any of the columns just by clicking on the column head. The next two options are, are the preview option. This third one, if I click on something, it will give me a short preview of it over on the corner. Or if I go to this option, this is called Cover Flow. And this option was first introduced with iTunes and the cover art of your albums, but they've now carried this over in the last few versions of Windows over into your files and folders as well. Now you can add different tools up here. One of them, the, the standard ones up here, are again the ones we saw, and then this sorting option here. And we also have this little gear that is real analogous to what you would get if you were right to click on a file. And this allows you to open, allows you to look at the information, the details about a file, and allows you to attach it if you're using the Mac Mail, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of different things in there. But maybe you want more tools available to you here at the top of the screen. And you can do that by clicking View from the menus, and then click Customize Toolbar or you can right click on the toolbar and click customize toolbar. Then you get the option to add buttons or subtract buttons from your toolbar. Maybe you'd like to create folders on the fly. You can put the new folder button up there. Maybe you would like a delete button and you, again, you can drag and drop it wherever you'd like. Maybe you want that on the toolbar. Maybe you don't want this little quick view uh, icon. You can click and drag it off the toolbar. So that's how you can quickly add and subtract things from the toolbar. And then lastly, in the customized toolbar option, you can choose to show the label of the different items that are on your toolbar and the icon, or just the label only, or just the icon only, which is the default. Again, that is your choice, and then just click Done. Then the other two things you may want to do are add the path which is here at the bottom that shows you exactly where your files are, and then what's called the status bar at the bottom, and you access that from the view menu. Click view menu, and then you can hide the path bar, or you can show the path bar, and you can do the same thing with the status bar here at the bottom. So there is your introduction to the Finder window in Mac OS.